Hey guys, this is Colby from Mad Astro Reptiles, and today I wanted to talk a bit about the newest size of Zoomed enclosure, which is the 36 by 18 by 36 paludarium. Um, and basically that just means that this bottom portion here is the equivalent of about a 20 gallon tank. So you could have this be kind of a three level enclosure with water, land, and the canopy. That's what it outlines here is basically like what it's made for. We aren't going to use it as a paludarium. We're going to make it a vivarium, um, just a bioactive substrate in the bottom and then uh, plants and like cork bark and stuff up top or some snakes. Um, but I did want to talk about just the difference between this and then Zoomed's, nope, Exoterra's uh, enclosure of the same size and just some differences that we noticed between them. What, do you want me to say? <laughs> no, you're good. Um, and so we've owned both. We had the Exoterra one previously, and they've actually revised the, des the design just slightly since then, and I'll talk about that. But there were several reasons that we decided to go with the Zoomed this time over the Exoterra. Um, one of them I think is mostly aesthetic, but there are some practical reasons to it. And that's the vent holes here on the Zoomed. On the Exoterra, these are bigger slots, and there are bigger slots on the inside too. And if I can I'll open it here. Um, there's tiny slots on the inside of this. Um, so what I like about that is that I feel like it's not as likely to get substrate inside of it, but kind of a good thing here is these would just snap off. You can take this whole plastic piece off and clean inside of there if you really needed to. So I do like that a lot about this zoom ed enclosure. And another advantage, I kind of already sh showed it, I opened just this one door, it's got two clips. So when you open one door on a zoom ed, this one is still perfectly secure. On the Exoterra, they've got the knob that you use to open it, so both of them unclip. And we had some kind of flighty snakes in our last Exoterra, so having this like come open when I opened the other side was not ideal. So I really like this latching system where you can really only open one door at a time. And another thing that's just kind of aesthetic, but just I really think it makes it look a lot better, is the bottom of this enclosure. It's totally flush with the table. Um, in the Exoterra, it has a little lip, not a lip, I guess, but an opening. And a couple things about that, just aesthetically, I don't like it as much. Um, and it would get like dirt and stuff when I would get my animals or be cleaning the front. If stuff, if dirt fell here and I tried to wipe it away, it would go under that kind of drove me crazy because it was hard to get it out from under. I know the purpose of it is to create ventilation, you know, if it gets a little wet under there you don't want it getting all like moldy and gross, but this one, if you look at the side here, it's got an opening here and it's got the same kind of large opening along the bottom and then on the other side as well. So I feel like that's still going to create plenty of airflow underneath if you happen to get some water under there but it keeps that front just looking really clean. And the same thing up here, it looks, it looks just really clean. Um, so if you're somebody that really cares just about the aesthetics of your collection, which we kind of are, um, I really like that about this one. Now the big reason that we decided to go with Zoomed over Exoterra is actually the top of this enclosure. So you notice it's just totally flush on the top. Like there's no big divots. In the Exoterra, it kind of goes down where the screens are. There's an indentation. And trying to put lights up here, our UV lights, we had to really like rig it up. It was really awkward. This, you can just put them on there. They're going to lay flush. They're going to be just how they're supposed to be. So we really like that about the Zoom Ed. And also on the Exoterra, to take the screens off, You've got to turn all these knobs. There's like four knobs. It's kind of hard for me because I'm short to reach to all of that. But on the Zoom Ed, it's just these two little tabs and you pull it up and they come out super easy. And these are actually, these screens on here are the same 
replacement part number as the ones on the 18 by 18 enclosures that ZoomEd makes. So that's kind of nice too. Like if you have multiple ZoomEd enclosures and you needed to replace a screen, it's the same part number. Oh, what I didn't show you before I put this back, I'll take this other one off. It's a little bit easier. Um, is the back of this. So there's these open slots here, and on the inside of the cage, it's got these little slots that are just for cords to go up through. So there's six on each side, 12 total. And at first when I got this, I thought that that was actually gonna be a bit of a downside for me, that they had those openings, because if you've got something that's small enough, I thought, well, there's no cords used for that one. I'm not gonna use 12 cords. It's gonna be open. On the Exoterra, there are sliders that close up those gaps, but this one didn't have that. However, I looked a little closer and it comes with these little guys. And so if there's a portion of these that I'm not using, you just slide that in there and those gaps are filled. It's not gonna be a problem anymore. So I thought that was gonna be an issue. Turns out they already solved it. We're good to go. Um, since we're at the back here, if you were making a paludarium, like I said, we're not, we're just making it a vivarium, but it does give you a step-by-step -step guide on how to, you know, build up your platform so that you can have your different levels with the water at the bottom um, and gives you tips on substrates, accessories, lighting. Um, talks a bit about the importance of UVB, which about 70% of reptiles need, so it's important to have UVB for a lot of different reptiles. All right, guess back up to the front here. So one thing about Exoterra um, is that it does come already with a background, like a foam insert background. Um, so if you're somebody that's not gonna wanna do the kind of DIY portion of building your own background, Exoterra does already provide that for you. However, for us, we like to build our backgrounds, um, make them a little bit more dynamic. I mean, this is just a little piece of paper that shows kind of what your enclosure, enclosure could look like. Uh, but it's actually very similar to what our plan is with this. It's got the natural cork on the back and we've got some of that for building our terrarium. Um, we've got these little cork rounds. Oh yeah, we do have sheets here that we're going to put on the back of the natural cork zoom in also um and then you know all the different plants i mean i'm looking at our plants versus that picture and they're pretty dang similar uh so if you're a person that's gonna want really more of a natural look to your vivarium anyways or your paludarium you're not going to use that foam insert background you're going to build your own um, so that's what we're going to do with this. So as far as Exoterra versus ZoomEd on that particular subject, that's going to be personal preference. Do you want the pre-made or do you want to kind of put in the work and make it more personal? ZoomEd can do that. You can do that with the Exoterra too. You just take out that insert. It's not permanent. So um, yeah, that's kind of the difference between the ZoomEd and the Exoterra. You know, these are fairly new. Hadn't really seen any video comparisons on them. So I just wanted to do that so that the information is out there. I think that we're really going to enjoy having this one um, versus the Exoterra just for most of those reasons, especially for this. I think the flat top is gonna be really, really, it's just gonna make things a lot easier. So if you have any questions, something I didn't cover, something that you noticed, um, let me know in the comments and I will try to address those in the future. Um, other than that, thank you for watching. Uh, if you like this video, hit the subscribe button. If you want to see the time lapse of us kind of actually building up this vivarium, um, we're going to be filming that in the coming days or weeks. So stick around, come back, check that video out. Thanks guys.